Louisiana Beer Review's Fresh Catch. This beer is made on honor in New York. And it's sold on merit. Not in Louisiana. But this was sent to me by um, Douglas in Virginia. Thank you, Douglas. Uh, there's a big story about 1890 and the lobstering and everything. The famous Narragansett Fresh Catch Citra Session Ale. 23 bitterness units. Um, this, like I said, is produced in New York for the Narragansett Company of uh, Rhode Island. Um, Paul Tuck at Rhode Island. All right, so they might produce a little bit of it at that. I think Providence, Rhode Island Brewery. I don't know, know much about this company. I know they've been around off and on, mostly. Well, it's another story. All right, anyway, thank you, Douglas, for sending this. I don't know if they sell it in bottles. I'm sure it's on draft. Uh, Thanks, a little dribble there. Didn't expect that. We'll fix that. Okay, um, so introduced in 2018, gets an 83 on Beer Advocate. They're saying it's good. Rape Beer. They're giving it, what, 62 out of 100 and 49 in the style, something like that. They hate it. They say it's just... <clears throat> and untapped, giving it a 69. So we'll check it out here. It's got a thick, slightly off-white head and a uh, just slightly hazy yellow appearance with some ascending bubbles. Thank you, David, my friend David, for this glass. i got to use more of the glass that he sent me. Citra, I find, gives it that, like, citrus aroma, like orange rind, lemon rind, and also maybe some kind of musty meatiness. It's hard to describe. Yeah, maybe a little pale malt here. I don't know what kind of malts they're using to just say citra hops. Uh, obviously some kind of pale blonde malts. Let's go with the taste. Oh, and there's a good number of video reviews going back to 2018, so I'm going to watch those. Seems like 23 bitterness units, maybe even higher than that, but that's what the number is. Um, Little citrus, like I say, lemon or orange, somewhere in that range, you know, between the lemon being very tart and the orange just more sweet. But that kind of thing, obviously, it doesn't contain either. It's, it's hops. <laughs> um, pale malt or white bread. Body's medium. No. It's nearly medium. It's like a high level of low, thin. So it's on the thin range, thin to medium, but more like thin. Okay, that's all right. 4.2, session, middle light, 4.2, bud light, 4.2. Um, Michelob Ultra, 4.2, sessionable. Those are lagers. This is ale. Dry finish, nice lacing. Any other flavors? No, it's sort of like that. Um, I agree with Beer Advocate. It's good, but I think it's very good. I don't. I don't just say good. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Um, 89, I might be scoring it too low, but 89, 8.9 out of 10, a B plus. Mm. 
And I'm going to end this review once again by saying thank you, Douglas. He sent me an exciting array of beers. This was the one non-Virginia beer. And um, I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Rochester, Rochester, New York. Well, you can't really tour the Genesee Brewery there. They got this little showcase brewery in the, in the visitor center area. Kind of like <laughs> built for tourists to look at. But the, the real great part, the huge brewery part, and it's a big brewer, brewery. They don't let you see it, so I was very disappointed in that. When I went to FX Matt the day before in Utica, New York, who also does a lot of contract brewing, like they do the Mississippi Mud, um, and they do Kingfisher now. I noticed that, but I didn't buy it last time I saw Kingfisher. The people, they, they, the place I saw it, they were selling it for so so higher than it was so much higher than it was worth it was a joke but anyway but in Utica they let us tour the whole brewery they took us all through it every part of it that was that was a great tour so go there <laughs> but it's got no relation to this thank you for watching this video production